Hey, it's Bronze Age Nerd. Today, let's look at what I won from a YouTube auction. So this auction was hosted by Bill over at Economics and Comics. A lot of what he does is he speculates on upcoming books, and then he lets you, uh, well, he shares with you what his recommendations are for pre-orders. And if you pre-order a book, you can get it for less than cover price. So he said what he usually does is order two of everything, and he basically was cleaning out a lot of his double copies. So there were just, you know, little independents or um, small runs that you could bid for pretty much cover price, some cases less. Uh, and you can win some pretty cool comics. A lot of them are minor keys over the last couple of years. So these were eight hours a day. Um, you could just hop in. Auctions started anywhere from five to eight dollars or, or more, depending on how many books were in the lot. And you just added up however much you won throughout the, the weekend. He did giveaways. It was pretty cool. I just wanted to unbox for you what I picked up from that auction and let you check it out too with me as I open it up for the first time. All right, so we're going to go ahead and open these up. So I'm pretty excited to see what these all end up looking like. Um, it, was, it was a cool format. All right, so you can kind of see the size of the box I ended up getting here. And... Bundle O Comics. A bundle of bubble wrap. Which I'm sure is making all kinds of lovely sounds. Sorry about that. Alright, so this isn't the first package I've gotten from Bill. Uh, he includes a little note, which is pretty cool. Uh, it says, Thank you so much for supporting me and my channel, Economics and Comics. It means the world to me. I will strive to continue to bring you the best info and entertainment possible. Your friend, Billy. It's a cool little touch. The first lot I got uh, was Sumerian and the Frost Giant's Daughter. This is uh, issue one. The uh, the Wolverine, trying to get the glare off the um, poly there. Uh, this is the Wolverine homage to the, the Wolverine ongoing series. And uh, this is Battles of the People of the Black Circle. That's probably better. Uh, obviously, the Hulk homage there. And the Dark Knight homage. We'll play around with where's the best spot to film this. <laughs> uh, the Action Comics. And, oh my god, I'm going to feel dumb. I'm blanking on that homage right now. That's the Death of Supergirl. There we go. I don't actually know if that one is an homage. You tell me. I actually don't know. Oh, <laughs> I called the, <laughs> you totally noticed probably, I called the Batman homage, the action comics. And then I was like, wait a minute, there's the action comics. I knew what was coming, so my brain just sort of saw that. So that was the, the Sumerian lot that I won. Um, the next one up was a single issue. And it was Old Lady Harley, number five, uh, which is the first, uh, they call it Geezer Joker, the first old Joker. Uh, also, one this one, this is a, a super hot indie that's going to be turned into a film. It's been optioned, a uh, film or a series, uh, Undone by Blood, number one, and that's in that's in really high grade too. Uh, couple books that I was excited to pick up. I've been looking for them for a while. I was very happy to see them on the auction. 
You got your uh, Murder Hobo, <laughs> which is a great title, of course. And then this was three issue run um hotel is that hotel or hotel hell i think it's just hotel and you're supposed to get that it says hell basically so i you know i don't really get a chance to pick up a lot of indies so it was pretty cool to to pick up some of these indies runs and, and pretty much all of these have some heat on them. I mean, you know, they're not like hundred dollar books, but they're books that you could buy now that could be hundred dollar books soon. Um, you know, which is obviously <laughs> there's this whole concept. Reggie collects actually talks about this. And I really like this concept. It's called red ocean versus blue ocean. And he's borrowing it from, uh, somebody who's talking about economics, I believe. And the whole concept is, Red Ocean means there's blood in the water. It means that people are already aware of the stock, the commodity, the the item in the market. And they're going after it, and that raises the price because there's blood in the water. So red Ocean. Blue Ocean is the opposite. No one's really looking at it, so the prices are lower. But that means you can fish for whatever you want, right? Like, you can grab the choice stuff that's going to be worth more later on in the market. So that's pretty cool. And that's that's the kind of concept I like to go by. Uh, this was Naomi 5. I think this is her origin. Gosh, I can't remember if that's her origin or first time in costume. Uh, and then I picked up a, a Supergirl lot, so Go through these. That's a cool cover. I like this one too. Supergirl when she's pissed or like in a badass mood is always always a good look. So yeah, some pretty cool comics. So I'm super excited to get all those. Thanks to Bill over at Economics and Comics. That was great. It was a cool auction. I got a lot of stuff that was, is probably going to pay off at some point. Really fun spec to, to hop in on. Uh, and I use that word a lot. I go after that a lot. Just as a reminder, the whole point of my goal in collecting comics right now is I want to try to make the hobby essentially pay for itself. I want to go after high dollar keys, but I don't want to just buy those out of pocket. I'd rather invest in some smaller books that are a lot, a lot less expensive. Uh, let them appreciate in value. Get the ones graded that need to be graded to get them CGC or, or CBCS graded so that they're worth the top dollar and they're easier to sell. Sell those off. The raw books that just for whatever reason don't hit, I'll sell those off. Probably similar to how Bill did it here uh, or on Instagram or uh, through some other avenues. And get money for those. Pretty much anything that I buy, I try to make sure I buy it and it's going to sell for more than I bought it for, or it's something that's just staying in the personal collection. I have some comics that I do enjoy, you know, buying cool covers of. The Sumerian stuff kind of falls into that. I like homage covers. Um, the uh, Supergirl stuff, I'm a pretty big Supergirl fan. I might sell some of that stuff. I might keep some of it. It all came as a lot, so I, I got a good deal on all of it. Um... And what I really want to do is is go after those, you know, those comics for the, from the series that I really do collect the older stuff or the big first appearance keys. Um, you know, I have a whole list of comics, which I'll probably do a video on at some point, which are my goal collection. It's, it's the collection that I want to ultimately have. 
And that's a relatively small amount of books. I don't mind having some extra comics on top of that. But I had a huge, you know, 12 or 14 long box collection worth of comics. I don't want that again. It's not my goal. So I'm going after a targeted amount of comics. So comics I can get now that I can speculate on, sell down the road, uh, or enjoy for the time being, uh, having them perfectly fine to, to enjoy the comics you have, of course, and uh, eventually sell those and, and use that to fuel what I really do want to own, what I really want to go after. That's the whole goal. And so I think this is a pretty good stepping stone. It's always nice doing business with Billy. He's very professional. Uh, no shenanigans on the payment or the buying. He's very safe to buy from. Uh, and he, he is just a professional. So I really appreciate that. Thanks again, Bill. And remember, as always, hey, 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 read comics every day. Mm-hmm.